Welcome back to my channel. I'm in the third year of a second doctor at the University of Oxford and this is my life. So I don't know whether I look it but I'm tired. <laughs> I am really really tired. This is week five at Oxford and I had to think about it there for a sec and normally that's called fifth week blues traditionally because it's that start of term where it starts to get colder and you start to get more exhausted or shattered or knackered or all those British terms. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, feeling it a bit um, and it's been a really busy week um, for teaching. I had to, um, I was invited to present at a conference. So I was in London presenting at the conference for a couple of days. And then I came back and, um, you know, had to deal with the onslaught of emails. I'm one of those people who really hates having like, you know, the little numbers by your email inbox. I like to clear it all the time. But I admit, I hold my hands up. This week, there were a couple of days that I did not achieve. Like I went to bed with emails unread. I mean, I knew what they said, like they, they could wait. But um, I was just too exhausted. I just like lay down, eyes shut, gone, which is really unusual for me. Um, so it's been tiring in that respect, um, but uh, there have been a couple of good things. Always focus on the good things, right? So um, chronologically, <laughs> first off, I can't remember whether I told you, but for this term, I'm a welfare rep for the graduate students at my college, St. Anne's, and I did a Halloween painting pottery event. Um, I really love being able to do those things. Uh, I don't really like loud music or loud noises or anything like that. So I don't get involved with um, any of any sort of parties or stuff like that. Um, but this is a nice way to meet people, to socialize in a relaxed atmosphere. Supposed to be relaxed. I gotta be honest that people took the painting really seriously. For me as well, I got really into it. I was just like, oh, you know, I really want to make something that could be a trinket because I'm never going to use it for as a mug as it should be used because I just don't want to break it or I don't, I don't know. I just want to keep it nice. So be honest, because I, 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 I would call this rustic. I am not an artist in any way. But um, yeah, so Halloween themed. So I got a pumpkin mug and uh, I did the inside like really orange. I did the outside is like orange and yellow and I did the leaves. I, I kind of regret not doing that leaf that looks like a maple leaf in red. I did it in like a darker orange and I tried to put green and sort of cover the green because otherwise it looked weird. I don't know. Um, maybe it's better from a distance. Probably like me, better from a distance. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was a really good event, really positive, And I was glad uh, to be able to do that. So that was good. The pottery came in after being glazed. What else happened? Um, I was invited to speak at the Oxford Union. Um, so if you're on committee and you contribute, you work hard and that sort of thing, that's like one of the big, well, it is the biggest perk you can have for being on committee is invited to speak. So at the end of your, you're required to do a certain amount of vacation days. So at the end of the vacation days, there'll be a like, Google form that comes out with the debate motions and you can say that you'd like to speak and list in order of preference what motions and in what position you'd like to speak as. And normally student speakers would either open or end a debate, sometimes both, depending on how many outside speakers there are. So I filled it in and I was like really, really hoping because um, the last time I spoke was a year ago. Um, I've been involved in the union one, two, three, this is my fourth term. And I've spoken, this will be my second time. The first time I was involved, there was no way uh, any anyone was speaking because it was online. So that was never going to be an option. So I'm just really, really grateful to have this opportunity, especially because uh, it's a debate on US stuff, um, US politics, and it's relevant to US history as well. So it's just right up my alley. So I'm really excited. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun. It, it can be nerve wracking because it's like 600 people it's, it's so amazing how many people turn up. I just, uh, I'll never, I'll, I'm not sure I ever want to get used to it, you know, but I'm just so happy that um, people turn up on, on a Thursday night for the debates. And uh, we have amazing outside speakers and, you, you know, you have the dinner and that sort of thing, but it also is recorded um, and you have nice pictures. So when I came back from London on the bus, there was construction. So the bus was diverted away from downtown Oxford, which it normally goes through. 
And so I had to get off and walk to the um, ballroom shop. There are a lot of places in Oxford, if you're a guy, to get white tie, which is what you need at the union uh, if you're speaking. But there are very few places in Oxford, if you're female, um, to be able to get ballroom white tie attire. So this is one of the places to go. It, it's not cheap, um, unfortunately. Uh, but you know, they, they do, they're so professional in there. So the woman in there was amazing. She was just, she'd been on the phone to me on the bus as well saying, get off at this stop, but this is going to be faster. She was right. Um, I wouldn't have done that otherwise. So that was awesome. And I got there and she just took one look at me and, uh, cause you know, they size you up and direct you toward the right dresses to look at. She took one look at me and she's just like, try this on. She handed me a dress. Boom. And you know, I'm not a big fan of green. But this is like a dark, this is like barely green, like dark emerald sort of green. And I was like, okay, I'll try it on. Um, it was the dress. Like it was, a, if you know what I'm talking about out there, comment down below. But you know, like when you find it, that was the dress. And uh, I'll, sh I'll show you, of course. Um, and I was just uh, so, so grateful to have that. I tried it on a different color. I tried it on in burgundy, but it, no, it was just like, she's just like, no, it pops. Uh, for the green, not in a bad way, perhaps. <laughs> like it looks better. Um, and then the seamstress, like I told you, really professional the seamstress came out, hemmed it because it was quite long, and of course I didn't want to drag in puddles or whatever. So, did that. I uh, paid for that, and I'm gonna pick it up uh, on the day. And then I made a hairdressing appointment uh, for my annual haircut. Um, I can only afford it. annual ha haircuts over here, so they've always been so expensive. Um, but I just have one and that'll do me. Uh, so I'll do that. And yeah, just really psyched. How do I get ready otherwise for the actual speech? The most important part. Um, so I'm not usually someone who actually plans what I'm going to say for things. A lot of people, if you look at Oxford Union debates on YouTube, you'll see that people are reading. Um, that's fine. That's, you know, their choice. Uh, I'm not really someone who, who likes to do that. Um, so what I do instead is I just literally have a note card, like I, I consider the motion, I just literally have like a little note card like that, where I just jot down like bullet points. I just bullet point it and I practice it about three times with a timer, so important because I have no sense of time, with a timer um, and the secretary will have a timer beside. So as long as I can see that and they'll ring the bell to let me know how I'm pacing myself. I think it's like six minutes, eight minutes. And then when you're up at 10, they, they, they do the bell as well. So that's going to help me out in terms of pacing myself, practice speaking it, just get into my head what I'm going to say. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But I'll take you along with me, of course. Um, so yeah, just, just really excited for the whole experience. Trying not to be nervous because I, I just want to enjoy it. You know, this could be my last time. It's certainly my last, probably my last time on committee. So um, I'm not planning on uh, being involved again, but maybe down the road I'd be invited like as a professor or something uh to speak that would be amazing um so yeah just excited uh wish me luck hi everyone hope you can hear me so made it on this windy dark day November day pick up my dress from Bourne Emporium and I'm gonna wear that to get my hair done and then all I have to do is add makeup at the let's go We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to lipids because we wanna We wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun, the trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up, we came to party all night long So, I did it, oh my god um, end of the night, beginning of the morning, it's past midnight. Um, but, whew, yeah, I have been a little anxious beforehand. I was just overtired, to be honest, more than anything else. Um, but as soon as I walked into the union tonight, I was just like, got it. But then, I didn't realize that, um, there'd been a, a change in speakers. And so I prepped to introduce different speakers and I was so close to introducing the wrong speakers. Fortunately I noticed it um, written down and so I had to quickly come up with something to say um, but no that was fine um, and it was so nice that uh, I could have a guest and it was so nice that um, I was able to get myself confident you know three confident dress 
and hair and makeup. So yeah, try and like triple confidence. Um, and get that, you know, I did my makeup at the uni itself and went from the dress shop to the hairdressers to the, um, the, uh, union where I did my makeup. And then after that went straight into drinks, which went straight into dinner, which was straight to photos, which went straight into the chamber, um, for the debate. And it was Remembrance Sunday, and I've forgotten that, uh, you know, being the Thursday closest to Remembrance Sunday, we would have start with a minute's silence. I didn't realize that. I hadn't figured to factor that in. I've been so distracted. So we had that, which was really nice. And then we went in, um, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, put a link or show you some clips and pictures and things like that. Um, and yeah, it was a slightly quieter chamber than um, when I'd spoken before, which was during the open period, but it was still pretty full. And uh, we won. Oh, I was so, so happy uh, to, to win uh, an Oxford debate. That was awesome. We had to wait uh, to get the vote afterward and that sort of thing. Um, but people were so nice. That opposition proposition, no one cared. Everyone was talking to each other and it was just such a nice environment. Um, so yeah, it was a really uh, positive experience and uh, I really just blessed to have it. Um, so yeah, gotta um, get change. Um, so yeah, that's uh, been the day, you know. Um, I don't know when I'm next public speaking. Thank God I just don't have to think about it for a while. Um, I mean, I, I like public speaking, I do, but I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, so yeah, no, it was, it was a good good event and uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I forgot to tell you earlier but <laughs> there we are that's the Oxford Union. Thank you so much for watching be sure to like share subscribe comment and I'll see you on the next vlog.